my notebook right in front of me they actually give you um a pamphlet of like everything that you have to follow so um it's not filled out because i believe i fill it out on my pre-op diet day but um surgery date is if you guys don't know already october 30th and then my pre-op diet starts october 17th however i'm going to be starting it today which is october September 26th, 26th, can I talk? Today, which is September 26th slash tomorrow, which is Friday, September 27th. I go food shopping every Friday, so I thought to start on um, Friday. Plus, I am up a few pounds. Um, the last time I talked to you guys about my weight with an official weigh-in was actually my last pre-op diet, and I was 275 pounds, 200 yeah, I was yeah, I was 275 pounds. So right now I'm up about seven to ten pounds. I'm about like 285. Um, if you guys haven't been watching like my 10 day smoothie cleanse, I mean I was eating littler calories, more of a restricted diet, and I basically gained the weight because I didn't stick with it. So basically yo-yo dieting, you know what I mean. Um, but I wanted to have a good weigh in for the doctor's visit. So, um, I have three more weeks until my pre-op officially starts. However, like I said, I want to kick it into gear and start a few weeks before just so that I can get back to 275 or even lower. Um, I started at 278, my first official appointment. So as long as I'm under 278, I'm good, but I would like to hit 269. That's just my personal goal. Um, and that's before the pre-op diet. So basically you can say i'm going to be on the pre-op diet for a month and it's my choice and the big reason why i'm doing it is as you'll see when i'm reading it's not as hard as a one month liquid diet so let me just get into it um the diet that i have to follow is a 1000 calorie diet 60 to 80 grams of protein 48 to 64 ounces of fluid so they give you um a few examples of what you can use and they say um, protein shakes just the protein and water or milk no additives and that can be like a meal replacement then you can use meal replacement shakes such as um, whatever shakes you bought before like surgery you can use those of course or you can use the special K protein shakes or the active advanced protein shakes those I believe have a little bit more sugar in it but this is only for pre-op they have like a whole separate list of the post-op things that you can have this is literally just one page for just your pre-op not your post-op diet and then um you can also have which i really like which i use like the first time i ever used lose lost weight when i was like 19. you can have frozen calorie controlled meals which at which is lean cuisines healthy choice smart ones so that's really really going to help me because I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did before, a smoothie in the morning, a smoothie at dinner time, and then for lunch, I think I'm going to do the whole um, frozen calorie meal. And those meals are usually less than 400. I haven't had them in a very long time, but I was really, really big on the smart ones. So I'm hoping it's around the same thing. And then you can also have meal replacement bars, such as Special K bars, Luna bars, um, thin, Think Thin bars. So... Those are all of the things that you can have that are examples. Like I said, if you like a different bar, I'm pretty sure you can have it. As long as you're staying under the one calorie, 1,000 calories, like if instead of having one of the frozen dinners, if I wanted to have like four ounces of chicken breast or four ounces of fish with some vegetables, I can have that. Or even if I wanted to do that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that's still not really, not really breakfast, but lunch and dinner, that's still under 1,000 calories. And then I at least want to have one smoothie a day or one protein shake a day um, just so that I can get used to things. Um, a thousand calories. I think it says to use a food journal, basically my fitness pal. I think I'm really going to start using that again starting tomorrow just because I personally think it's going to really help me trying to get my protein in. Um, I really want to hit that 80 grams every day, especially because I didn't start surgery yet. But um. 
just the whole reason why they're doing the 1000 calories it's a very low calorie diet it can help you shrink the liver and possibly shorten the amount of time you are you are in the operating room and reduce your risk to complications during the surgery if your surgeon cannot safely get behind your liver your surgery can be stopped if not considered safe so that's the whole reason why we're doing the two week um 1000 calorie diet like i said um it's different you know all doctors are different i'm not knocking this doctor because he's not doing the liquid diet and i'm not knocking other uh, other people who do the two-week liquid diet because majority of the time everyone cheats during the during the pre-op like everyone does everyone does um and you know i don't know i feel like like i said every doctor is different i've seen doctors that people are like a little bit bigger than 300 they make them go on like a one month pre-op i've seen doctors that do only two days pre-op a liquid diet like it's all different so um you know when i go to the class i'll get a little bit more information about it but this is what i'll be following until my appointment which is october 17th and that's when it officially begins but for right now um I'm simply just doing the whole, you know, lean cuisine, smoothies, um, boathouse juice, naked, um, meal replacement bars, fruit, stuff like that. I'm just trying to be as clean as possible, but I do not want to go over at least like 1,200 calories. This says 1,000, but for me, I don't want to go over 1,200. If you guys want to see like a day-to-day -day what I eat in a day, definitely let me know. When I have a day off, I can do that for you guys, but um, yeah, this is what I'll be following. I'll probably do some updates on my weigh-ins because that's really what I'm going to be looking at because like I said I want to hit the 269 mark um, I'm not fighting to hit it I'm not going to be on the scale every day like I was for the whole um, smoothie cleanse but I will be on the scale at least two times a week just to make sure I'm going in the right direction um, and that's about it I hope to talk to you guys soon tomorrow I do think I'm going to come on and do a grocery haul just so that you guys can see the things that I picked up um, for the pre-op diet for the week so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.